Hi guys, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Barbie and I film pregnancy and lifestyle videos. And I would love for you to subscribe down below and also hit the bell button so that you're notified every time I upload. I thought it would be fun to show you what we've been eating this week for dinner while we've been in isolation. Those of you who know me personally will know that I am a massive foodie. I am obsessed with food. And especially since we've been on lockdown, dinner has become like the highlight of our day. Obviously, because we don't want to be going to the shops too often, I'm trying to use up everything in the fridge before we go to the shops again. So you're gonna see a few kind of repeat ingredients throughout the week. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more cooking videos, please make sure you let me know down in the comments below and let me know what your favorite meal was that we ate. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. So on Monday, we decided to make spaghetti bolognese. This is one of Tony's favorites and we used turkey mince for this one. So to start off, I just threw my onions in the chopper. This meal was so easy because I chopped everything in my chopper and the other half of stuff I used from the freezer. So I just cooked up my onions and also got some of my frozen garlic out and chilies. So I like to just chop up a load of garlic and freeze it. It just makes cooking so much easier to have it ready and not have to worry about the faff of peeling garlic. So that is one of my cooking hacks. Then I chucked a carrot into the chopper because we had one little carrot which was going off and I threw the chili in there too. Also, I added half a pack of chorizo just because I love the flavor of chorizo. It makes it so, so tasty. And I'm chopping up one red pepper. We already had half a yellow pepper left over from another day, so I threw that in as well. So that all just goes into the pot. As I said, I like to freeze up a lot of stuff. So since it's only me and Tony, we usually do have a bit of fruit and veg left over from our food shop. So if I have any vegetables left over, I just chop them up, roast them and freeze them. So I'm throwing in some mushrooms, courgettes and aubergines. So now I've added my turkey mince in with all the veg and I'm just going to let that cook. I'm adding in a jar of pasta sauce. This is just one we had lying around the house but I also would use just a can of chopped tomatoes if I have that. And I've got basil and some mixed herbs. Stuck the spaghetti on and I threw in some fresh basil as well from our basil plant. And this is Monday's dinner. This is our spaghetti bolognese using turkey mince. It's just a little bit lighter and healthier than using beef mince and it was so yummy. On Tuesday we were just having leftovers so I decided to make some banana bread. We had three bananas going off and I thought it would be a good idea just to use them up so I'll leave the recipe that I've used down below it is from Broma Bakery's website and yeah I'm just adding in all the wet ingredients this recipe has Greek yogurt as well which was a little bit weird I've never used Greek yogurt in banana bread before but this is basically banana butter eggs Greek yogurt and vanilla essence and then for my dry ingredients I've got flour sugar cinnamon and baking soda which I've mixed all together it's really hard to do this with one hand while you're filming, so if I look a bit weird, that's why. And then I swelled in a big spoon of Nutella. I put it all in my loaf tin and I was a bit worried that it would spill over, but it actually did alright. And for dinner, I just boiled up some pasta and I've mixed in the bolognese from yesterday. And I'm also mixing in some creme fraiche just because uh, we have loads of creme fraiche in the house and I need to use it up. And I thought it might make it a little bit different to what we had yesterday. There is my banana bread baking away in the oven. So this is the finished banana bread. I'm not gonna lie, it was so good. I think the Greek yogurt made it like extra gooey on the inside and it was just really, really yummy. And for dinner we had pasta bake. I just added some cheddar and mozzarella and parmesan, <laughs> yep, all three, to the top of the pasta and cut some salad with it. On Wednesday I decided to make paneer. These are all just ingredients I had in the fridge and needed to use up, so I'm gonna try and make a curry out of it. I'm just kind of making it up as I go along and yeah it actually turned out really nice so to start off with i just added oil into two pans and i'm whizzing up my onions in the chopper i wanted them to be really really finely chopped 
Um, into the big pan I've added some cumin and the onions and I'm just frying those up and in the other saucepan I'm frying up the paneer. I don't think I needed that much oil for the paneer so if I ever do it again I think the paneer actually releases quite a lot of fat itself. Um, but yeah I've got my frozen garlic, my frozen ginger and I've chopped up a few chilies as well. And I've added that in with the onions and the cumin and I'm just going to let that all cook up for quite a while actually. I want there to be no water left in the onions and I want them to be nice and fried. Just frying up the second batch of paneer. And I'm chopping up my chopped tomatoes again because I want them to be really, really smooth. To spice the curry, I'm adding in my last remaining bit of chilli powder. And then I'm going to add in some turmeric, some cumin or jira powder, and also a spoonful of garam masala. And I'm going to cook that all together with the onions. So I've added in some peas, chopped tomatoes and also the peppers into my curry sauce. And I'm just giving the paneer a stir and letting the sauce all cook together for a good 10 minutes. Just so all the flavours are combined. Next I'm adding in the paneer and giving it a good stir. Since I had a load of creme fraiche, I just added some into the sauce. I just thought the creaminess would be a nice addition. And lastly, I've added in some coriander. So I decided to make some roti or rotli to go with the curry. I mean, it turned out okay, but I do need to practice my rotli making skills. And this was our final dinner. We also had this on Thursday night as well, and it actually tasted so much better the next day. So I will definitely keep that in mind the next time I cook it. And then on Friday, we just had a really simple dinner. We actually ate really, really late this night and just wanted something light. So we used up some of the salad bits we had in the fridge. So I've butterflied some chicken and added some barbecue spices, uh, garlic and rosemary. And just put that in the oven. See, look how late it is. I chopped my finger while cutting salad. So Tony had to take over and we just mixed everything in a salad bowl, added some olive oil red wine vinegar and salt and pepper to the salad. So this is what we had for dinner this week. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe down below and make sure you let me know if you want to see some more cooking videos. Thanks, bye.